That's all, that's all you have to do is, in my opinion, is really sit down and, and evaluate what gifts, talents, and treasures you have been given by your, your manufacturer. And then how do we convert that into creating content? Right. And then the previous sessions that we did goes over different tools that, you know, you want to acquire to create the video content. But all you're doing is just educating people. You don't have to come off right off the bat selling. All I'm trying to do is we're trying to create a system. That's my whole thing is I want to create a system, a process, a foundation that once it gets going, that's it's game over from there. So that's the position that I'm in right now. I'm in a position where it's like the wheel has been built. The process, the systems have been built. All I got to do is keep feeding it for the next 30, 40 years, right? And just stay consistent. Now, when I'm dealing with people who are double my age, almost triple my age, I focus on what their careers are and where they're at in their journey. So if I'm, like I said, if I'm dealing with a 50 year old, 55 year old, and they got 10 years to, re to retirement, we have got to look at the skills, gifts, and talents that they have. And, what, and we have to figure out what would be the first thing we need to do. And in most cases, I'm looking at their careers. And that's where I was talking about promotion, raises, um, equity, All right? That was another word. I left out. I'm like, how do we gain equity in the company that you practically built? Right? I've I have clients that have built companies that they don't own. And I'm like, dude, it's a simple conversation with your bosses, with your managers, to let them know where what your worth is. Right. So promotion, raise, and equity, th these words translate a lot easier than these words. Because oftentimes when people watch this, they're like, oh, but I but I don't know how to create content. I don't know how to sell or uh, I don't know how to make a course Denzel. I'm 65 years old. I'm 60 years old or I don't have money to get a license. And then like all I hear is excuses, excuses. But these words, it translates a lot easier. It's the same thing. So I'm like, how do you get a promotion? How do you get a raise? What if by working in the corporation that you work for, you can get a promotion five times faster by creating video content for your company. See that I created the bridge or raise. How do you get into the meeting rooms where the real business goes down, where you can talk about equity? How you've been working for the company for 15 years. You've got zero equity. Imagine getting 1% of a $10 million corporation. Anybody know what 1% of $10 million is? Do the math on your calculator. Someone, someone shout it out. I know what it is. I don't want you to do the math. Y'all got this one. <laughs> Come on now, get your calculator out. 10 million times 1%. What is it, Mimi? There you go, 100,000. Oh, right. That's, that's, that's... 100,000. I'll give you an example. I'll close out with this, All right? This might translate very well um, or might not. I don't know, depends on what the women in here listen to. If you, if you listen to too much of, uh, them, the male alpha male coaches, like, like Samuel and, and all them people, then this, this, this might, this might come off wrong. But if you're kingdom, this is going to, this is going to translate real well. So this word helper, this word has a negative connotation. Would everybody agree in the marriage dating realm, right? We, we see all that content. Y'all agree with that? The word helper, you're, you're the help, right? Remember the movie, The Help? It's always used negatively, which makes absolutely no sense because the word help, right? If I, if I ask Shamika for help, it's implying that she knows something that I don't know, or she is stronger than me in a thing than I am. So therefore she is higher. Is that not true? Does anybody agree with that? Right? If I ask Shamik, hey Shamik, I need help uh, with my girlfriend on, on this this issue. And I know that you, boom, 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 you do this really well. Or if I go to Dr. Eddie, I'm like, hey, I'm trying to write a book. You wrote, what is it now? Over 10? Is that how many books you wrote? How many, Eddie? 13. Eddie wrote 13 books. I wrote zero. Eddie knows something more than I do. If I go to him for help, it's implying that he knows something more than I do. He is stronger in an area than I am. Okay. Well, that word is labeled on, on woman in the Bible, if I'm not mistaken, right? Women are the help mate. It implies that when Eve was created, she just, she is, is, she is, 
women are women they just are there is you're in a being you're done complete so when eve came on the scene she had everything adam had because she came out of adam and she got some upgrades so the man must become who he is that's why it takes longer for a man to develop maturity and to build wealth and, and accumulate it takes him longer a woman just is just walks in authority done it's it's there authority has been granted since day one just boom so what i tell my clients is how can we rather regardless of man or female male or female how can we step into a helper role where it is implied that anyone that asks for my help knows that i can do it better than them but i choose to surrender and help them grow their vision their mission let's take it to the business the business realm okay prime example here is a corporation called ibc global right i am a man i am becoming who i am quote unquote that's my charge so i'm a male i work to become work means become who i am i found another leader of another corporation he controls this operation ibc global this particular individual has a vision to have a hundred employees and to generate a hundred million dollars by 2030. now in order to make money with this organization you have to have a license specifically a life insurance license so i acquired the knowledge i acquired the training i then found someone that's doing things the way that i would like to do it one day they are ahead of me they came before me so I'm leveraging the fact that they have a foundation, they have the financial resources, they have the organization, the people, they're currently at 40 employees and they are a seven figure operation currently. It's 2022. In eight years, they'll produce $100 million just from being a helper. If I just got three to 5% of 100 million, that's not a bad payday would you guys agree like imagine by 2030 they're generating a hundred million dollars a year and then in year 2030 i get five percent of a hundred million ten percent of a hundred million is ten million five percent is five million three percent three million so anywhere from three to five million dollars a year just from being a helper three to five million dollars a year in cash flow is an insane amount of money for helping for helping just help being helper i was a help mate for another mate i helped him this particular individual grow their vision and mission of which i received promotions and raises and equity and shares and cash flow i managed the money correctly because why i know my numbers right got the financial discipline part down i could build my own organization but if that's not my purpose see i know what my purpose is it's different from his so i'm leveraging his purpose to feed my purpose does that make sense because his vision feeds other people financially and protects them through life insurance policies my vision my purpose is kingdom i teach expand multiply the kingdom through mastering your personal finances on an individual scale as long as i keep walking in my purpose right keep doing my thing my needs my requirements are met as long as i'm a faithful servant helper creator authorized with authority to authentically do what it is that i'm here to do on planet earth so hopefully that translates very well that word helper you now have a positive view on that word society throws that word down right especially in the relationship world and the dating world and you know what do you bring to the table and all this crap if you look at the root word of what it means and how it operates you will be operating at such a level where people will will, will come to you in droves by the droves wanting needing what it is that you got you got a whole lot right so i'll, I'll end with that uh,